Alright, so what's closest to the entrance? Well, that puzzle I wasn't figuring out. Hmm. Actually, it's kind of equidistant, isn't it? I'm just gonna look at what's to the right, because I haven't looked at it this episode. So, we want to go up from here. It is, however, a professional shortcut. But now that I've got, like, all the tools... It's just that button, right? It seems like it should be easy. Like... I can just push this across. Or myself across. Push the button. Oops. <laughs> okay. Right, but... The difficult part of the professional shortcut is the second half, of course. Oops. But that seemed right so far. I didn't mean to reset the room. I can just push another up, that's fine. Right, that's what I was on my way to do, and I just held up too long. See, and then I warp across somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. Oh, I should have pushed that block to the right first, but it's not too late. Oh, that just opens that? We're still fine. Unless I need some spare blocks up there. I guess we'll find out in a bit if I've messed up the puzzle. Wait. I need to push the block. <laughs> trying to skip steps. Doesn't work. Oh. And then what does this do? That opens that. I've got my chest. Hey, it's paper. I get the feeling like I have more items than I was meant to. Oh yeah, because also it was way easy to get in here. But anyway, we've professionally shortcutted, I guess. Right, that's what the red locks mean. So it was a, a red lock on both sides. But anyway, we got a... A thing. There's just one more thing on this floor, making good progress. So there are two things on the next floor. I remember about where one of them is, because I would try to solve that puzzle earlier. The other's to the right, and it's surrounded in professional shortcuts. And it might also assist in getting the other one. I can warp over there, can't I? Because this will take us to the top middle warp, because it's in the top middle of the castle. Alright, so how do we get down? Well, first we explode some bombs. How? Probably don't need the enemies alive for any purpose. Oh, that's a one-way door. Interesting. Let's warp again. Saw there was health, so I, like, didn't even care about trying to dodge. Wait, doesn't this lead us back to the very first professional shortcut? If I could get fire all the way here... Yeah, we can never mind the blocks. And it's a kill room, and we killed! In a room! This way, professional shortcut. Oh boy, what's going on here? we need to kill? Everything. So you can't get the keeping it Jenny achievement if you go this way. Oh wait, this just leads here. Interesting. The whole time. Okay, so there's a chest to the left. Wait, I can break blocks. Maybe there's a better puzzle if you're less equipped. 
But I can break blocks. It wants to be bombed, doesn't it? But there are bombs here. And I will get that chest in a moment. Oops. Whatever, we'll teleport that one. Found a heart. And we've got crayon pumping because we found every heart. Hey, eggs, I'm starving. Okay. Pow. I get the feeling to actually complete this room, you needed at least these tools, not necessarily the portal wand. Never use the stairs, it's dangerous. I, I'm pretty sure the bomb explodes diagonally, but... Oh man, now we've got, like, pathways. Eh? So Itan showed up to put money in treasure chest and built a castle. What is going on? I want this treasure chest. Brutus! Let sleeping spike filled, finely toned, short tempered adventure mauling machines lie. Unless they're a red door, then you're in for it. So. I mean. It appears there's some sort of puzzle here, but I have the portal wand. What if I did only have the fire sword, though? I mean, I could explode all this. But maybe I need to, like, save a bomb. Let's just explode what's on the right here. Okay, so bomb explosions don't trigger these, so I don't need to save a bomb for that purpose. Alright, you can't push stuff onto sand. Let's see. The only way to push a bomb up here is to have it come from, like, here-ish. Oh, so I just need these exploded too, I think. They won't be useful to me in solving the puzzle. And then, can I hit these fast enough? No. Well, I can hit him fast enough like that. So maybe you just also needed the ice wand. I think I actually established that earlier. But anyway, where does that go to? Yeah, just here, sure. Oh yeah! Of course. Because we were, we were in that upper room trying to look for bombs, and there weren't any. Okay. Is the castle going to be fully looted after this, then? We can just head back here. Smash some blocks. Do I need to redo this killer room? I feel like I completed earlier, and I was hoping that completing it earlier would stay done. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for a chest in here. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> Crystal! Magically tied to puzzly objects. Gets bored easily and appreciates a good smack to liven things up. This looks like quite the puzzle. I want to quickly take the stairs to see if I got everything on both floors. I did! Castle- wait, there's still a missing room, but... Uh, I want that map exploration, but I also want to solve the puzzle here. So... That's tied to these crystals. I cannot, by myself, get across fast enough. But with the aid of a portal wand, I can. So I need a bomb in here. There's a bomb. So, so far I've only used the ice wand and the portal wand. I could grab fire here if I didn't have the thing for using fire. 
Okay, that needs something else to go with it. What does it even- Okay, we need all three switches down. I could use this fire, even without the fire sword, to break one of- or to grab one of these blocks, rather. Yeah, break one of them so that I can use the other to do something. Can I place this on sand? No. There's really no reason to want to. Alright, easy. Don't know what all these mirrors are for. Oh! The mirrors are so you can solve it without the ice wand. Because... Let's see. If I were to, um... Yeah, you do this. You hit that. Except you're a little faster. Yeah, so you didn't need the ice wand to solve that either. You only need the portal wand to solve this puzzle. Neat. Okay, but there's one unexplored room. It's on the other floor. Um, how can I best get there? By running into fire. No, that's not it, actually. No, right. I should've just iced him. I'm gonna get all the health. Those undead ones didn't give me health. They're jerks. <sighs> Running over time a little, but amazing puzzle solving occurred. Uh, what am I doing? Nope. Health. Right down, left and then right. Somewhere we've never been. Oh! Right. This room. Alright, I need that ice block to actually stop on something. I want into that last room. If this takes too long, I'll cut to the solution, but I want to solve it. And I want it to be this episode. So we know I can open some of the barriers if I just solve this puzzle to the right. And I think I want the position of the ice block reset. What do you do here? like this. Get out of the way. Thanks. Uh, let's just die. Thanks. So now I can, like, freely go around here. What is this open by? That's open by that. What is the point of that even being open? There isn't much of one. How do I open that? Okay, I don't want to push that ice block from this angle. I don't want to use that bomb to re to free the other one. There are only just barely enough bombs in this room. Oh! I messed up, didn't I? No, it's fine. I can just use a portal block here. Or wait. How do I get the ice block in there? Huh. Oh! Wait, what? So my thinking is that if I can get the ice block here, and have my portal block on one of these two switches, 
then I can reflect myself using the mirrors on the right or just my own thing in order to push the ice block onto the other switch. So my issue now is how do I get the ice block here with a portal block here or here? Because I can't use a bomb on any of these bricks. There aren't enough bombs. However, if I just push the ice block to the left, then my issue... Yeah, I had an issue. Oh yeah, it blocks my way down here. So I need the ice block to stop on something besides... Oh yeah, I need the ice block to stop on something besides the portal block. That's why I still need the bomb to be unexploded. I was preemptive. So, we've, we've got it, we've got it. We're not gonna go over on this episode by much more than we already have. So I memorized the solution here. Should have killed this, just in case it got in the way. Ow. Alright. So we're going this way. Killing more Jennies. Or at least one more. I need to warp the bomb to that position. And then, before I push the ice block, I want my portal block here. Ow. Push that there, push that there. I'll, I'll go ahead and not use my own ice powers, because we've got that. So now, I have enough blocks that I can open this. So now I have access to two bombs. And we can use one here and use one on the wall. Easy. Except it took me like a bunch of tries and the one time I thought I had it and it wasn't actually it. Get into the last room of the castle soon. If there's a puzzle there, do I also solve that one? Probably not. Oh, there's a puzzle here. Because this way. Oh, this is the fire and portal back door. Because, yeah, I could have solved that without ice. But the back door we actually want, since I'm planning on a no fire run, is the ice and portal back door, which we have seen somewhere on the second floor. Back door, hello. How complicated a puzzle is this? I should really not. Sweet. Fire in portal, huh? So we're not gonna need to ice here. So I'm never gonna ice a wall. What is the point of the bomb? The bomb is so that you can stop an ice block and have your portal block somewhere else. Um, since it's a fireplace, probably don't really need both these ice blocks. I don't know. But anyway, um... I want to stop the ice down there. Oh, I need to place my portal block first. Same trick as the last room. And... Do that. I have two more switches. And... Hmm. How long does this stay with looking up for? Not very long. Really? I know how I could solve this with ice. Or would it even be fast enough? Hmm. 
Maybe I really did need to get that second ice block somewhere important. But how? You can't possibly push it up from there. You can't possibly push it left from there because there's sand in the way. Yeah, I don't see how I would have done anything relevant with the second ice block. But they do provide you two ice blocks. It's strange. But anyway, we're both stuck up against these spikes. And how do you use fire in this room? I've only used the portal wand so far. Do you react to portal wand shots? You do! That's not nearly long enough to get up here. And that mirror will reflect it upward. I can't, like, destroy that. No. This is stuck forever because it's on spikes. <sighs> I can still move the bomb somewhere because I can hit it with the portal wand. But the bomb's useless. Wait! That reacts to bombs? I thought one in a previous room didn't. So, say I were, I were to just do all that. If I then move the bomb over here. Let's see, I'd need a way to light it and then quickly get up there. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm not thinking with portals, that's the problem. So we're, we're imagining I have an ice block here. I don't want to do it again. There, solved. Bomb explodes, that triggers that for just a moment. And we're done. Alright! So in the next part, we'll do the Master Cave. And yeah. See ya!